OTD Fitness Lit, Certified Forensic Criminal at Large, but I'm losing weight. And welcome to Critical Joke Theory, Episode 17. In the Florida gubernatorial debate, Charlie Crist was called a worn-out old donkey by a complete ass. Two Chinese agents tried to bribe an undercover FBI agent with $61,000 in Bitcoin in an attempt to steal classified information. Didn't they feel stupid when they found out that the same secrets were available at Mar-a-Lago for free? Cleveland Metro Park Zoo celebrated their baby gorilla, Kayembe's first birthday. For his first birthday, he was given a Harambe pop-up book and a stern warning. In Pennsylvania's senatorial debate between Mehmet Oz and John Fetterman, Mehmet Oz has challenged John Fetterman's ability to serve in the Senate, citing his uh, health and stating that we do not know whether or not John Fetterman has recovered fully from his stroke. In response, John Fetterman said, <laughs> Clarence Thomas temporarily blocked Senator Lindsey Graham's subpoena from the Georgia Grand Jury. Thomas needed to make sure that Graham's testimony will not incriminate Jenny Thomas, citing happy wife v. happy life. Rishi Sunak won the vote to become the UK's next Prime Minister, succeeding Liz Truss. He has more wealth than the royal family. He is the first British Prime Minister of color, and that color is green. Speaking of green, former Prime Minister Liz Truss said, I am not a quitter. I am a resigner. Lettuce one, Liz Truss zero. Xi Jinping secured his third term in power by running unopposed and quashing all dissent. We have to stop doing business with authoritarian regimes. Dissent from my smartphone made in China. And now for a commercial break. Hello, I'm the Dr. Reverend Jelly Roll, PhD, DDS, ADHD, registered voter. I'm here to remind you to please register to vote if you haven't. And if you have, please, please, please vote. If you think voting is hard now, wait and see what happens in a world where only a few are allowed to vote. If you think things aren't working for you now, <laughs> you haven't seen things not work. If you are waiting for God to move you or send you a sign, well, if you haven't seen the signs by now, you aren't looking for signs, you're looking for excuses. If you're waiting for God to do something, she already did. She gave you a brain. Some things you must do for yourself and on your own. God is not a registered voter, and even if he was, he could only vote once, just like you. Can I get a ballot box? Mm -mm -mm. In full disclosure, while I am an independent and have in the past given money and votes to Democrats and Republicans and independents and green, it has always been to help move this country and world toward a more loving place. With that in mind, I cannot tell you how to vote. I only ask that you vote for people who do not promote hate. That do not spread lies that do not prey on the fears of others. Let's put our children's needs before the needs of corporate overlords. A lot of these elections are tight, real tight. Like if I put on my suit that I wore when I was ordained tight, that tight. Can I get a Gasper hair? Mm -mm -mm. Your vote matters. Now, let's see what the good book says about voting. So let's please get off your ass and vote, mother. I couldn't have said that better myself. I am the 
Dr. Reverend Jelly Roll, PhD, DDS, ADHD, registered voter, asking you, please, go vote. Can I get a fuck yeah? And now, back to the news. Representative Lauren Boebert claims that women are the lesser vessel and need masculinity in our lives to balance weakness. This coming from an empty vessel. A Miami judge dismisses voter fraud case trumpeted by Ron DeSantis. The 19 arrested voters had more integrity than DeSantis and committed fewer frauds. Donald Trump is formally subpoenaed by the January 6th committee he is expected to delay complying until he can replenish his strategic stockpile of Fifth Amendment pleas. Steve Bannon is sentenced to four months in prison pending his appeal. Let this be the only time that Steve Bannon and his appeal are mentioned in the same sentence. Unless the sentence is longer than four months. Fearing that the population of white people in Louisiana is declining, the Louisiana GOP lawmakers are redefining who is black to dilute black representation. White Republicans aren't fucking like they used to, so they're fucking black people. Setting aside the fact that black people don't get to say if they're black anymore, just think how confusing the racists and the cops are going to be. They won't know who to stop, or when to stop beating them. The U.S. Mint announces late actress Anna Mae Wong is to be the first Asian American featured on the U.S. currency. Bigots with a yen to hate will not use the coin to purchase hoods and services. A federal judge said that Trump signed court documents that he knew included lies. This is a federal crime. Now can he face some charges? Lindsey Graham out at FBI source Igor Duchenko. If only the FBI had a secret about Lindsey Graham that they could leak. Maybe his dress size or favorite shade of lipstick. The Steele dossier source was acquitted in the second loss for special counsel John Durham. His investigation comes up empty again. Trump claims that Durham finding nothing only shows how deep the conspiracy goes. The four missing Oklahoma cyclists were found shot and dismembered on road to committing a crime. Basic Crime Committing 101 Step 1. Commit crime. Step 2. Get rid of all witnesses and evidence, not vice versa. And finally, Kanye West has vowed to go Death Con 3 on the Jews. Well, he's been at Inept Con 1 for years. Can we just say nay to yay? I'm G.D. Fenderson, Certified Forensic Humorist at Large. Thank you for watching Critical Joke Theory, Episode 17. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please share it with someone. Now be smart, be safe, and don't feed the crazies.